first of all, wait till stop waving to me. I got, a, I got a million dead people trying to talk to me and connect with me. But first of all, I have to come right here. First of all, your mom passed. Yep. Can you stand up? Because know that your mother's here. Thank you. And first of all, when I'm connecting with your, with your mom, there's also a little boy that passed as well. No, but I'm with my son. Okay. No, well, he's alive. I'm talking about someone who... <laughs> I'm talking about someone who had passed. Do you know if there was a little boy that was, that was lost in the family? No, I don't feel like I'm right there. I feel like I'm right here. She's actually telling me the soul had drowned. Do you have somebody who had drowned here in this world? There was a neighbor's friend that drowned as a little boy, yes. He's here. I just saw your mother saying, look who's here. I can't believe who's here. And she showed me this boy that drowned. It was almost like out in the backyard. I don't know if they had a lake or a pond or something. What the hell was back there? The river behind the house. Oh, okay. Please know that that soul is there and, and with your mother. Because in heaven, everyone's with one another. Every neighbor, every friend, everybody. And I saw this little boy next to her soaking wet. And your mother telling me, he made it out of the water. He's fine. He's with us. He's with us. So first of all, I have to tell you that your mom is here, here in this world. Right? To let you know that on the other side, she's been watching over you since her passing. What's really tough is, oh, wait, and you, and you lost your father as well? Mm -hmm. He's also there because your mother said, and let her know her father's here. Our father's here. You have to let her know. She I goes, because. I she was said, nine when he died. Okay. Because she says to me, she goes, Matt, do you know that my daughter wants to hear from him more than she wants to hear from me? But you're not that lucky today. You just got your mother. <laughs> I have to tell you that, first of all, your mom is telling me that before she died, she talks about there being memory issues before her passing here in this world. She keeps telling me, you need to let my daughter know. I can remember. I can remember. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. And she's also telling me, Matt, she says, what was really tough is that before I died, she says, I lost all of my independence here in this world. She tells me it was so hard because she keeps telling me she couldn't drive at the end, that you took her keys or you wouldn't let her drive here in this world. Your mother's holding car keys up. She goes, let my daughter know I can drive in heaven again, she said to me, Matt. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> she says to me, Matt, you don't understand. Your mother tells me, and this is so funny, is when your loved ones pass, just like her dad was in a coma, right? Your loved ones see everything. And your mom tells me, Matt, they thought that they could pull the wool over my eyes. But the moment I died, I found out everything. So did you, like, move her in with you or move her out of her house here in the physical? So myself and my granddaughter, Charles's son, her daughter, I, we moved in with her. Oh, you moved in with her? Yeah. Okay, because she talks about the move that had taken place. And she's also telling me about you redoing the house. So you redid her house here in the physical? I made myself a bedroom, yes. Okay, bullshit, because she's telling me the house was already done. <laughs> What's so funny is that your mother kept saying to me, she was like in the house, but she didn't like know she was in her house for some reason. Like she's saying to me, is this my house? Is this my, do you remember that? I do. She's saying to me, Matt, she goes, I thought that they moved me, she said to me. <laughs> but do you know that your mom was so happy because every day that she woke up, you were there. Mm -hmm. And she says to me that what was so amazing is that you made sure that someone was with your mother 24-7. She actually tells me that at the end that you took turns with different family members, staying with her, laying with her, being on the side of her because you were so afraid of her passing and being alone. Do you understand mm -hmm. that? We do. She wants to thank you so much for that. And she also wants to thank you for keeping her at the house when I'm speaking to her. She says, Matt, this was so beautiful. She says, because when I was here, she goes, you don't understand. If they brought me somebody somewhere else or brought me to a facility, she tells me she would have been really afraid because she wouldn't have known where she was or what was happening. She says, but having you there meant everything to her. She also was telling me that she fell here in this world as well. She talks about the fall. A lot of them. Okay. And you know that she wants to thank you for the way that you would get her, pick her up, bring her back to bed, and for the way that you made sure that no matter what happened, every need of hers was taken care of. She says, Matt, I cannot thank my daughter for that. She goes, I need to thank my whole family. She says, and I also have to let her know, thank you for doing the things that I did. Like, even though your mom was so sick, and even though she had issues with her memory, there were some things that she did not forget here in this world. And when I'm speaking to her, she tells me that she, all she cared about was like the house being clean, everything being clean. And she tells me that she used to make you be like the maid. Make sure you get up there, clean up here, vacuum this. Do you remember that? Clean out that freaking corner. <laughs> she tells me, she goes, Matt, she goes, listen, she may have thought I was losing my mind. She goes, but I saw things. And she tells me you used to bust her balls. Like you would see, your mother would see dust on things. She'd be like, you need to clean up there. Clean up on that shelf. Grab up there. And you're like, Ma, you're not seeing anything. There's nothing on there. Do you so understand? She, she has um, in her bedroom um, mirror closet doors. I had to clean them every day. They, there was not a freaking thing on them. 
But <laughs> your mother tells me she could see them. That's what she's telling me. Oh, I'm sure she did. <laughs> and she says to me, Matt, she goes, it's so funny because I would worry. All your mother worried about, she had like this list for you. All right, when my daughter comes here, I need her to fix that drawer, change that thing, do this here, do that there. And she's bringing that up. But she says to me that thank you so much for the patience that you had with her. She's also telling me something weird. She's <laughs> wiggling her toes to me and she's telling me she couldn't feel her toes. Yeah. Did you used to massage her toes here in this world? Yeah, but I hated it. <laughs> she just like lifted her foot up like this and she's like Matt she used to massage my toes I'm like lady I'm not touching your toes like don't I'm a medium that's as far as it goes yeah she says to me Matt tell her to thank you that felt so good I used to like what she did with my toes and she's made and she's got the, the lavender as well she keeps telling me thank you for the lavender lotion mm -hmm. she knows all about it she says to me Matt she goes I gotta tell you something oh boy oh boy there's something you don't know you're not gonna believe this she goes Matt I can't believe I'm saying this right now. I don't want to say it, but I got to tell you, your mother's making me. She goes, Matt, sometimes I fake to not remembering. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> she says, I'm going to tell you, I was forgetful, but I wasn't dumb, she tells me. <laughs> and your mother tells me she had a hearing issue here in this world. She, she couldn't hear. She, had she goes, aids. so... I played her. She goes, I knew damn well what was going on. <laughs> and I knew damn well sometimes what would happen. She says, but I made it my way, she tells me. She did. Come over here. I'm going to give you a hug. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> and by the way, is there also, I also keep hearing this name, is there also a Sue or a Susan? Her best friend is Sue. She kept saying to me, say Sue, say Sue. So her best, that was her best friend here in this world? Yes. Okay. Please know it's her way of acknowledging. Thank you. Thank you for taking care of Susan. So I don't know if you kept took care of her as well or what? Kept in touch. Perfect. She says to me she's also watching over Susan on the other side. All right. I'm going to